Hi, Flosstube. Hello, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep, Keep Stitching, episode 310. Five plus five plus 280 plus 10 plus five plus five is 310 because math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. Glad you could find some time to stop in and uh, check and see what we've been up to. Yeah. Hope you've been up to some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Hope you are um, uh, doing well and getting a lot of stitching in. Um, we've had a relatively uneventful week. Everything yeah. is kind of in a holding pattern until we um, take our trip. Yeah. So, um, but you know. But work is busy, so. But work is busy, and Steph's yeah. going to talk about that in a sec. Yeah. And um, it ended up being um, a very nice at the end again. Mm -hmm. It builds up to the end of the week. It does. But uh, Keepsakes um, held a lovely meet and greet with Karen Kluba mm -hmm. of Rosewood Manor um, in Cincinnati yesterday. And it was lovely to mm -hmm. see Karen again. Of course, we've seen her at Galleria. Mm -hmm. Steph's seen her at Galleria and at Market. And she's just a lovely person and yes. so talented. And yeah. uh, we had a trunk show to admire her work, and she did a Q and A. We had lunch, and uh, there were a few items of hers to purchase. Mm -hmm. It was a nice gathering, yeah, and um, was a nice way to end the week. Sure, absolutely. Um, and then in other news, yeah, other keepsakes news. So, um, a little bit of background. This is the first video of ours you've ever watched. Is we live in Cincinnati, Ohio. And the local needle workshop here is Keepsakes, and I work at Keepsakes. So, um, so every once in a while we share happenings um, about Keepsakes on our channel, uh, just because I work there, so it seems to make sense. So, um, one thing that happened this week um, on Friday, um, so we had a lot of people that attended StitchCon, right? Um, and a lot of people that attended StitchCon vicariously through the various social media outlets, um, both that belong to keepsakes and belong to all the attendees. So right. very fun. So a lot of pictures and videos were shared. And a lot of those pictures and videos were of what is called the StitchCon Annex. And that is the home of all of the trunk shows that are sent by amazing designers throughout the industry, along with their models and supporting merchandise. And um, it's basically like a miniature keepsakes. So it's pretty great. We really love curating all the trunk shows that go into it. So one thing that we decided to do this year because of the opening of the keepsakes online shop is um, that we did a StitchCon Top 15. So we took the 15 best-selling charts from StitchCon, from the Annex, and we posted them on the Keepsakes web shop, on the Keepsakes website. So you can, it's chart only, so um, if you want to add fabric or floss to it, um, we ask that you not place an order online, that you call the shop to place the order um, because there's no fabric or threads that's up on the shop. Um, this is just for charts only. Um, we also added a couple extra little surprises on there as well. Um, all of the released bicycles from the Sue Hillis Bicycle Series are up there. Um, also, the Bluebirds of Happiness chart is up there, uh, which is an exclusive by JBW from our retreat in January, the Lebanon House Sampler by Rosewood Manor, which was done for uh, the Keepsakes 25th anniversary, um, and then also um, the Stitch Con bike as part of that series as well. Uh, so there's a few surprises on there. So if you want to go check it out, we've got plenty of charts in stock, um, and so all of those packages, of course, get shipped out by yours truly. That's all right. So, um, it's been exciting to see what people are picking from. So that's been really fun. And since it's just charts, the packages go out pretty quickly. We so, sure um, so that's exciting. So, zippy, zippy. um, so check that out. Um, I think that that's going to be open and up and available until we leave for our trip. 
Oh, okay. And then the web shop will be closed, I think, temporarily while... because yeah, the shipping department will be, you know... She, they couldn't see you do this, but she just did this. Oh, like I'm in an airplane. Airplane, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. So, uh, it'll be um, just temporarily on pause while um, we're away, because that's the longest trip we're gone for. Yeah. So, when we go on our other trips, it won't be closed, because... Right. Our processing time is a week, so. Yeah, yeah we spent a few minutes um, this afternoon today uh, talking about, believe it or not, the rest of the year. Yeah. Um, and so if uh, if you are interested, um, that uh, means that we will have this video mm -hmm. and two more videos yeah. before we leave for the Netherlands. Yes. And then when we get back from the Netherlands, we will do a video mm -hmm. and um, then it'll be another week mm -hmm. um, and we will do another video right before we go on our crockpot retreat. Yeah. Um, also, if you want to jot this down, we do plan to have a Just Keep Stitching spirit wear sale mm -hmm. and uh that will be um after we get home from europe after we get home from europe and run until we uh, leave for utah until we leave for stitch west right yeah and then also uh per our tradition for the past few years mm -hmm. we do have a separate instagram account called just keep stitching D stash and we do uh, some purging and some um, D stashing. Yeah. And we always hold that on Black Friday, the day yeah. after Thanksgiving in yeah. the United States. Yep. Yeah. This is when we um, post new stuff. In November. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. just some yeah. things to uh, make an note eye out of. For. Um, and uh, just wanted to share that with you and yeah. we'll, we'll keep you updated on all that. Of course. Um, so, uh, let's do a hashtag. hashtag. Okay, our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching, <coughs> excuse me, is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who is looking for a stitching friend and you have, have exhausted all other options, um, then we would love to help you and tap into our audience and see if we can connect some stitchers together. Yeah. So, who is this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, Pamela? This week's Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely lady named, I hope I'm going to say this right, Kathy Reichwine. Or Reichwine. Reichwine. Kathy. Kathy. And this is what she wrote. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. Good morning, ladies. Hello. I I have been watching you since you lovely ladies were on the porch. Oh, boy. That goes back a ways. Yep. I am originally from Eastern PA, but now, in caps, I am literally living in the woods oh boy. of Somerton, South Carolina. Awesome. A stone's throw away from Lake Marion. Gotcha. Help. She says, in caps, I need to get out oh, of the, the woods <laughs> and meet some stitcher slash crafter. You ladies are amazing. Thank you so much for keeping this old broad in the forest company. A little bit. So, Kathy. Kathy, we're here to help. You are it. And there were more than one this week. So, so um, if, if you didn't you, get picked, yeah, comment again, okay? Comment again, please. Summerton. Okay. Summerton, South Carolina. Summerton, South Carolina. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot of woods. There it is. <laughs> um, Summerton Diner. Oh, there's a Dairy Queen. Um, <laughs> Kathy probably knows. Yeah, Kathy's probably aware of the Dairy Queen. Um, okay. So. It's off of I-95, so there you go. Um, and, oh, yeah, you are a stone throw from Lake Marion. Look at that, as if you would have lied to us. We're like, oh, yep, yep, she's telling the truth. Um, okay, so this is the great state of South Carolina. It just looks go. like a blob. Yay for that. Yep. So when you go basically into the center here, let me zoom in just a little bit. See this body of water here that's lake marion i had no idea there was a lake that big in south carolina it's she's a bigger she's yeah. a big one 
So, how's Swetman's barbecue? <laughs> Looks pretty good. I bet it's good. Um, okay, so there's Lake Marion. There's Sweat's Barbecue, <laughs> and there is Summerton. There you go. Okay, so if you zoom in, that's I-95, the big green line, and there's the Dairy Queen <laughs> and Summerton. I mean, I would love to stitch with someone at a, at a Dairy Queen. <laughs> I would go. So, um, if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Somerton, South Carolina, and you have room in your stitching group for sweet Kathy, then please comment on this video and say, Hi, Kathy. It's her name here. I live in around nearby within driving distance of Somerton, South Carolina, and I would love to stitch with you. And then it is up to you, Miss Kathy, to read through the comments and see if anyone has reached out to you. And then you guys can start a conversation and go from there. Absolutely. We hope so, it works out. Yes. And if you are someone who is in need of a stitching friend. Or um, you didn't get picked this week. Correct. Uh, therefore, you're still in need of a stitching friend. We uh, then please comment on this video. Use the hashtag Stitch Harmony at the front of your comment so you can find it easily. Um, and then tell us your name where you live and we'll try to help you find a friend. Absolutely. Okay. Glad to do it. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. That means it's time for Pam's pin comment. Sure does. And it kind of is a good segue from Kathy's Stitch Harmony request. Yeah. And it comes to us from someone. Let's see if she put her name at the end. She no. did not, and her YouTube name is Stitching with All the Cats. Of course, that got yeah. my attention. Obviously. And this is what she wrote. Hello. Hello. Good way to start. Yep. This comment has to do with hashtag Stitch Harmony, but it is not a request. It's a thank you. We love it. I was sad about not having stitching friends. I couldn't find any stitch group except for a knitting one and a not very close LNS that has an occasional sit and stitch. Anyway, I was thinking, thinking, <laughs> should I do Pam and Steph's Stitch Harmony hashtag? But then as you say, if you've tried everything to find a group, I thought, well, I haven't tried everything. Mm. So I went on our local Nextdoor app and asked if anyone knew of a group or would like to start a group. So, I guess I started a group. Mm -hmm. So far, there have been five to ten people showing interest. So the first get-together, I got a room at the library, and a wow. really nice lady showed up, and we had a very good time. We mm. are just about to have another one. Monday the 14th at 9.30 a.m. in a coffee shop. Love it. A few people reacted happily about my new post on Nextdoor. Uh -oh. Perhaps they'll come. Yay. That really nice lady and I are a definite. Yay. Notwithstanding falling down any manholes or anything. <laughs> right. And I really owe it all to you. First, you oh. made me aware that others could be looking for groups. Yes. And you challenged me with trying everything to find my peeps. Yes. I'm very happy this is all working out. I'm so glad I discovered floss tubes and especially your floss tube earlier this year. Thanks. Yay. Now, what I don't know is... Um, I think I have that app downloaded, but I rarely get on oh, it. Oh, I get notifications. And you get notifications set. I got to keep up with what's happening in the hood, Pam. Correct. I assume it's available on your phone. In yeah. The, in, yeah. Into the, either um, Android or Android Apple. Android or uh, Apple. Yes. So it might be worth posting mm -hmm. if... Um, if you were looking to get together with other stitchers. Yes. So good idea. tip there, stitching with all the cats. Yes, we love it. We love it. We love it. All right. Um, that means the next thing we're going to talk about is our oh. silver and gold segment. What are you doing? i got to oh, get the sound effect right. out, Pam. That's right. Duh. Okay. Okay. Yay. Yay. Silver and gold. So excited. Okay, we have two great ones this sure week. Do. Silver is our new floss tube uh, shout out. Yep. And we want to make sure that you go check out Heidi 
at Stitching Fay. Yes. And F A E is how she spells Fay, but her name is Heidi. She is in Southern California in Greater Los Angeles or outside Los Angeles. Okay. Um, and she has been making videos for a little over a year. Awesome. And she's made 24 videos. Yes. She has been stitching, however, for 20 plus years. Yeah. She's a lovely young lady who has a variety of stitching to show you. Yes. And she is very meticulous about describing her projects. She has everything from Lizzie Kate to Prairie Schooler to Samplers to, as we all say, the fancy ladies. Yeah. From Beerville and North. From um, Maryland's Lavender and Lace all the mm -hmm. way to Maris and Norris. Yeah. So we hope you go check out Stitching Fay. I was directed there by someone else we've shouted out, which is the Virginia Stitcher, mm -hmm. which is Vicky, and other floss tubers who have um, given a mention to Heidi. So go check out Heidi out yes. in California. Absolutely. Our gold shout out is uh, someone who has been a floss tuber for about as long as we have, and yeah. that is Lori at Once Upon a Stitch. And Lori is on the other coast mm -hmm. in New Jersey yeah. and um, has been making videos from uh, March of 2018. Mm -hmm. And she has been made, she has made 129 videos. That's amazing. And Lori's and my taste particularly are pretty aligned. I think that me and Faye, me, say, me and Heidi's tastes are very right, aligned. Right, right. So there's a younger person and mm -hmm. someone more or less in my age group. I, I do believe Lori has grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, there's a couple of great floss yeah. tubes. If you haven't discovered them on your own, yes. please go give them a look and see if they are someone that you want to uh, follow along with. They're well both done. beautiful stitchers, uh, very enabling in every yep. way. So very regular in their content. And very which we like. regular in their content, which yes. is wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. Okay. Okay. You guys, I might have a finish next week. Okay. I might. It, it might happen. Okay. Uh, that's exciting. Just saying. Yep. Just saying. Yep. And I'm not going to promise anything. Yeah. Because when I do that, I get myself in trouble. Mm -hmm. But. Um, so I am, <clears throat> excuse me, working on, um, my first of two Whipco goals and their, the goal is to finish them. And the first one is called Happy Halloween from Satsuma Street. And, um, I think at the end of last week or when I showed it last week, I still had to do the H this A the P, the N, and the N over here. I thought here. there were four. Yeah, 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 four. So those four. So now I am down to one and a half. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. And I am stitching mine on 32 count vintage smoky white, which is the white slash cream cousin of vintage country mocha. Yeah. And I'm using two strands over two of DMC, which is what she calls for. So mm -hmm. it's all the called for threads. And this is what I have. So I got the big H done. Then I got the A done last night. And I'm working on the little P in the middle there. And I just have to put the black in. There's some quarter stitches and three quarter stitches um, on that. So I had to do the background color first. Um, and then I just had to do the end over there. So we're closing in, people. We're closing in. That's right. So I'm being stunning, I think. I'm excited. Colors are fantastic. She, you know, Jody's pretty good yeah. with the color. So yeah. um, I'm excited to have that done because that is a whip from like literally 2017 so yeah, yeah. Um, but that's all I've been working on because I want to finish it and then I can get cracking on my second whip go goal which is also a finish so wonderful but that is what I've been doing so what there about you, you Pam what have you been doing with your life okay well um first off I went back to this primitive needle which 
is on loan to me. It's called Let Your Life Speak. Yes. It's very hard to see because the picture is not very muted and not a great photo. Right. And I am stitching this on da 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 is this the grace notes? Uh, or the mystic? Wish I could tell you. We do too, Pam. But I can't remember. I don't know. Um, I think it's mystic. Olympia. Olympia for mystic. That's wow. It. Wow. Pulled you pulled that, that right out of my... you know where. Yep. Okay. I was um, tell about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I am a little bit farther along. I went down to the bottom and did the first little motifs down in the bottom corner. Cute. So I've gone from top to bottom. From top to bottom. From top to bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, those those colors are really super cool. And I'm doing fine with my green so far. So, so far, so good. So far, a skein that I found kicking around is working out pretty good. Yeah. So, where where was the skein? Just off by itself, kicking around? Or? Yeah, I was looking for something else, and I went, oh, there's some that I think will work. <laughs> well, look at that. Well, look at that. This is a really nice um, even leave here. You've got here, Pam. Yeah, from Mystic Fabrics. Yep. 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 There you go. Beautiful. Can I have and the pattern, then, please? The what? The pattern. Oh, yeah. So, now you're just throwing stuff, Pam, you That's know? That's all right. We'll get it. And then... Aggressive, um, everybody. I also worked on uh, my uh, part of the hashtag historic houses sell, the Steinbeck House Salinas, California from Debbie Patrick. Mm -hmm. And it's going to look like that. And I got... Um, a lot Ooh. done. What were we watching last night? And I was stitching on this. Maisel. Maisel, but something else. Oh, I should mention that. Oh, yeah. While yeah, I think of it. Because I took a nap. So we've been to see Oppenheimer, as I'm sure a lot of you have. Yeah. And Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Wonderful, wonderful acting. But mm -hmm. I happened upon on YouTube an American Experience episode. Those are put out by PBS called The Trials of Robert Oppenheimer, and it really helped explain a lot of what was going on in the movie. Yeah. So if you can find that on YouTube, mm -hmm. we're all on YouTube all the time, right? If you're, if you're watching this, you're on YouTube right now. Correct. So I'm just saying, as a supplement to the movie... Can I link it in the box? Yeah, maybe you could. Okay. Um, it's called The Trials of... and. Um, the actor who reads the actual transcript from the trial um, is an actor that I can't think of right now, but you Great. immediately recognize him. Oh, okay. Um, so anyway, that's what we were watching. I was watching when I was stitching this. Well, Stephanie was evening. taking a nap because she yes. worked yesterday. Yeah. So um, this is where I am. So um, you can see there's a front entrance with a set of stairs and yeah. then... In the forefront is a sign that says Steinbeck House uh, and Restaurant, because it's oh. now a restaurant, apparently. And then a smaller sign below that that says Open. Cute. So, this is what I worked on yesterday. So, you see oh, the that's stairs. What that big blob is. And okay. the big mint green is the sign, the larger sign, and the lower sign. And I got some flowers and grass in. Looks awesome, Pam. Below that. But it is, um, um, this is the piece from Fortnite that I don't know the name of. Okay, but it's great. 32 count. Okay, cool. Um, the tag was in handwriting that I can't decipher. So Perfect. Um, but it was kind of nice to work in these flowers and get a little bit more color. And then I kind of worked on this a little bit this morning. So that's great. So that's um, Steinbeck House, Salinas, California. Yay. Part of the and hashtag. And the shading is, is fantastic. This is old style cross stitch, if you will. Old style cross stitch? Yeah. In the sense of there's a lot of um, shading and, and a lot blends. of, a couple of blends, not many, 
but um, a lot of confetti uh, stitches, so the loop start with two strands is perfect for it. Got it. Okay, and then today I'm trying to get on back on track on my sal schedule. Yeah, you are. And that means that today was um, Sunday stocking sal, mm -hmm. and I'm working on a stocking for myself because I'm 68. It's time I had a stocking. I had a stocking as a kid. Don't don't worry. She's um, never had a stocking ever before ever. So I'm working on um, this stocking. It's an old Jan Lynn kit. It's yep. very nautical, very many, and um, gives New England vibes. Yeah. So um, this is super easy stitching. This is two over two on a Summer Sky Lugana, I think. This is not Summer Sky. That is an Under the Sea fabric. Oh, As You Wish. As you Sorry. Wish. Yes, As You Wish from Leslie. Yep. Yeah. And so what I did today is I got in some snow and some trees right next to the uh next to top window on the lighthouse sure, yeah. yeah right in there yep yep there. so it was super easy and um we finished up marvelous mrs mazel this afternoon yep the whole series is done yep kind of sad because i really liked it but mm -hmm. yep so great acting tony oh, shalhoub yeah. crack up so, so so pretty, Pam. Yep. So Yay. I'll probably work on that this evening, too, after okay. dinner. I can't wait. And there's a lot of back stitching in this. This is from 1998, so. This is, is this classified as another old old time cross stitch? Kind of. Old style, I would old, say. Old, tie, old style. Excuse yeah. me. Old style. Yeah. Do you have a bag for this? Or? No, I, I left it over there. Okay. So. So, those are... Our whips of the week. Yay. Yay for us. Yay for us. Okay, then Pam needs the bell. Yeah, I do need the bell because I uh, pulled out my second whip go for August, which the goal was for a finish. Yes. And it is uh, something that uh, Kathy Haberman from Hands On Design uh, collaborated with... Um, huh. What? Nothing. Is there a mistake? I don't know. I have a question. After you show it. No, ask it now. <laughs> you now you have me worried. Is there supposed to be a string between these? What's it called? Costume party? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, did I forget? I don't know. It'd be easier to find it on Instagram, probably. No. no. We'll check later. Well, it we're just kind of looks funny just sitting there, though. Not to me. It okay, wasn't fine. funny well, to me. Whatever, to, Pam. You know, you it's know? fine. You know, it, go away. So it was just a full kit. Tell them the things. And then you could get the um, thread organizer and the thread drops from... Um, the thread... What are you talking about? The the thread drops from... It's right on the tip of my tongue, darn it. Oh, from Kelly? From Kelly. Stadola. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. It's okay. It's okay, Kelly. And then um, the threads and the um, mounting board um, were all part of this package deal. And the um, fabric from uh, Fabric Spice. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is it. This is um, Costume Party. It's about a year old. It's so cute. cute. And it's super cute. Mm -hmm. And it was a super fun stitch. Yep, it sure was. And I caught up, I'm all caught up for next season on both. <laughs> um, Call the Midwife and Grey's Anatomy. Oh. Um, God, after, I mean, I cry through every episode of Call the Midwife. Every episode. Every episode I cry. There's something for me to cry about in every episode. And then I switch over and say, okay, I'm going to finish up Grey's Anatomy, the last season. And I I start watching it and I go, these guys can't act for nothing, you know. Compared to the lovely acting on the other side of the pond. Right. But I've watched, I've never missed a Grey's Anatomy episode and I probably never will. So I got to the end of last season of Grey's. So anyway. 
That really doesn't have anything to do with anything. No, but it's okay. And then the mounting board and the Rick Rack came from uh, Lady Dot. Yes. And um, Homestead Needleworks did the board, which I haven't even I unwrapped. I don't know if those... Unwrapped yet. I don't think those things are still available. Which things? Like the costume party... Parts? Yeah, the parts. Probably not. It's been a year. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but so, the great products regardless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it was just a matter of... Um, it's dang cute. It's just super cute. I mean, Kathy is just a mega talent. So am I anyway. taking that in to be FFO? Yes. Okay. Oh, we just, I just needed to show it today. And oh, okay. We cool. can take it tomorrow for yeah. what, um, Barbara or somebody to. Yeah, it'd be Barbara. To, That's uh, going to be so cute. Mount on the board. I can't wait. Excited. And then so I'm gonna... all done with my whip go, and it's only the 13th of the month. Well, well, well. Mm. So then are you going to put this like on an easel? Is that how you're going to display it? Like on an easel? Haven't thought that quite through. Or do you want her to put a kickstand on the back? Because she can put a kickstand on the back. I think a kickstand would be good. Then that's all we'll do for you, Pammy. Okay, okay. We're going to get y'all taken care of. Yay. Yep. It's going to be okay. great. Super. Love it. Um, I've, I've done some other um, stitching this week, mm. but... Oh. Happy, Happy finishes, finishes, everyone. Um, Keep doing this now one. I can talk? Yes. Um... But um, one thing uh, I think I posted about on uh, Instagram uh, oh, yeah. still needs buttons. They're coming from Jabco. And another thing is um, I can't show it because it's for our white elephant when the Crock-Pot mm -hmm. crew goes up to the lake. Yes. So that is... Whoop. So sorry about your luck, Chuck. Yeah. Wait till you see it, though. Oh, my God. It's very Everybody cute. will be wanting mine. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Everyone will want it. Okay. Everyone will want it. Yes, they will. So, anyway. Okay. Uh, well, that's great. Congratulations so, on your finish, Pammy. There we go. Awesome. All right. Promotion. Promotions. Because <laughs> I was wondering. Oh, Ooh. shoot, dang it. Promotions. Welcome, Welcome to, the, to the promotional portion of the program, That's everyone. Right. That's right. This is where we talk to you about promotional items that we want to share with you. Mm -hmm. And they are promotions through Just Keep Sitting. That's right. Today we have the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. And what that is, is a pattern from twins at Twin Peak Primitives. And you can get off the struggle bus whenever. <laughs> Pam? <laughs> I drive the struggle bus, uh, so I can't not I can't get off it. Yeah. Um, so it's a pattern from the Twins of Twin Peak Primitives that we have decided together as a group that it is going to be uh, the promotional item this week, right. and which means it's twenty three percent off. Yeah. So um, we pick a pattern that we love that we think that you will love too, and then the twins discount it for you uh, as a thank you for watching this channel. Yeah. So uh, this week's pattern is called what, Pam? Old School on the Prairie. Um, and I was inspired to pick this one because um, people are getting ready to go back to school. Oh, isn't that cute? So um, we're going to run this for a week. Yep. And then probably forego a pattern of the week since New to Work Market Place is yeah. coming up. Mm -hmm. And everybody is kind of holding on to their Keep wallets. And the twins are participating. The twins are participating, and mm -hmm. so we'll we'll just have a hiatus I for think, a minute. For a minute on yeah. patterns of the week. Yeah. But, but for now and for a week, it yeah. will be old school on the prairie. Yes. It's adorable. We'll insert a picture here. just really sweet. Yay. So if you love Old School on the Prairie and you would like to get yourself a discounted copy of Old School on the Prairie, you can do so by either going to the Twin Peak Primitives website or their Etsy shop, both of which are linked below. Um, or if you'd rather have a, and that's just for PDF, if you would prefer a hard copy of the chart, you can get a discounted copy from the Daily Stitcher, which is an online new to work shop. Obviously that is also linked below. Right. So um, you don't need to do any special code or anything like that. It's already discounted, so just add it to your cart and check out. That's right. Yay. Yeah. Love that. All right. Uh, let's see. What's next? Mail call. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so first of all, this isn't exactly mail call, but it was a gift. So I... We did not pay for it. Well, so. yeah, no. So we... Um, what day was this? Okay, Friday. Was it yesterday? It was, it was Friday. Friday. I think. So Friday I was working at the shop, and um, when we went to the Netherlands in 2019, we met a wonderful woman whose name is Kobe, and um, she has a friend, Sarah, and ironically enough, when Sarah comes to the States, it's either, she has family that's from Cincinnati. Because Sarah's last name is Buskin. And if you know anything about Cincinnati, you probably have heard of Buskin Bakery. Right. So she's in that, but like that Buskin. Okay. Um, and so when Kobe found out that she had a Cincinnati connection, um, she has sent Sarah to keepsakes to shop for her or to come say hi or whatever. Yeah. All the things. Yeah. In Kobe's stead, let's right. say. Right. Right. And um, they always have been so sweet and so lovely. And Sarah has brought gifts for both Pam and I and also for the keepsake staff. Which and is, Kobe's not going to be at the retreat this year. Right. So we're going to be seeing Kobe. So. But we'll see her next year, okay? Yeah. And um, so this is the bag that I was presented. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Oh, I love it so much. And inside is a bunch of Netherlands goodies. Mm -hmm. But also, she gave me a couple packages of stick. They gave me, gave me a couple packages of stickers. I love these big stickers for uh, my book of days. Look at the foxes on the pumpkin. Oh, I love it. Cute. And these lovely coasters. These are so pretty. They are so pretty. I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. um, then, of course, a package of strip waffles. Strip then, waffle. Then the miniature ones. I love the miniature ones. So you can just pop them in your mouth. They're so good. Yeah. I've been waiting to do this for, yeah. for 48 full hours. <laughs> Here you go, Pam. Thank you. Pop it in your mouth. Yeah. And, <laughs> magnet, so cute, this is a, what is this called, pot holder. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Stephanie does a cook my <laughs> What is this for? <laughs> Look at the little Dutch houses. Aren't they cute? Uh huh. And then I'm not gonna try to pronounce them, but they're peppermint. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming these are licorice of some kind. Mm -hmm. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Mm -hmm. But are they soft? Can you no. Mm -mm. They're hard candy. Okay. And these are hard too. No. Mm. Yeah. They're both, both all hard candy. Mm -hmm. But yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. And then she also gave um, another package of soup waffles to the girls at the shop and a big box of buskin cookies from Sarah. So. Yeah. Wonderful. Yay, yay, yay. So thank you girls so much. Yeah. Thanks, ladies. You're so Delicious kind. and fun. Yes. And look at this really sweet card. Mm, I love it. Beautiful. Yes. And, okay. Did you tell them about the magnets? Yeah, I said and magnets. Oh, I was eating. I you, yeah, you were <laughs> preoccupied with the food, which I get, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. So that was super fun. Yeah, so thank you so much, surprise. girls. We love you very, yeah. very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then... We got a package from Vicky, and this is the cute little card. Look at that. It says, this is my thank you dance. <laughs> and then on the inside, it says, it's like a happy dance, but with more gratitude. There you go. So cute. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's some stuff in there for Pam mm -hmm. that she'll show you in a second. Right. But she also got for me... 
this lovely necklace on the back it says there's no place like home but on the front oops yep it's got the Wizard of Oz characters in it. Look how cool that is with the ruby slippers up top. Oh, ruby slippers up top and the characters. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute. And there's little emeralds down at the bottom. It's so cute. Thank you so much, Vicki. I appreciate it very much. Yeah. That is very kind. Vicki is a loyal mm, viewer. Very loyal, which we love. Yes. So, and what did she send for you, Pammy? Well, she had let me know through um, a message that she had one of my unicorns from the Primitive Needle, and I just about went through the ceiling. She sure did. When I opened it up. Um, and it is um, the Primitive Needle, which is hollow. Awesome. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I did not ask for this. I was <laughs> like... I was not she a part of this. threw it in, and it is another primitive needle, and it is called the Old Settlement. And I just adore it's it. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. It's really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. And um, is this all stitched at the top and the bottom? I don't know. Holy heck. I don't know. Let's, let's see. Is it sealed? Yeah. Oh, nope. It's open at the bottom. Yeah. Let's see. The Old Settlement. Um... Open. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, just so you know, mm -hmm. those stripes are part of the pattern. Mm -hmm. And it has, um, I'm going to go There's up. a fox and a cemetery in there. A fox and a cemetery. And it has a... And a beehive. It has a African-American feel to it. I'm going to say that much. And if it wasn't supposed to be, I think it could be interpreted that way. Um, there's no history or anything with it. If anybody happens to know who's there's no a, history with it? A aficionado of the Primitive Needle, hmm. um, maybe... Hmm. Uh, but if you look at the figures, they do tend to be, they yeah. do tend to be uh, dark skinned. Yeah. Very cool. But I don't, uh, but I don't know. Very cool. And I, I just am going on the appearance of it. Mm -hmm. And I like then it. when you add the stripes on the top and the bottom, kind of adds to that feel. Very so, nice. wonderful, wonderful. Cool. Um, the old settlement is on eBay and usually not out of reach price wise. No, that's all. The that's other all one, the which is hollow, is real, really hard to find. And if oh. you find it, it is out of sight price wise. So, Vicki, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very, very much. Yeah. Okay. Pam? I got it. Okay. Keep going. Okay. So, one of the trunk shows that we had at SitchCon was fabric, and, or one of the fabric trunk shows we had, I should say, is from <coughs> Wonderland Fabrics. And it was new to us. Right. And this is from Jamie. And these are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess she gave some pieces away to the people on the SitchCon team. And for some reason, we didn't get them at the event. Which is fine, whatever. But um, she has a local friend here who brought them into the this shop nice. yesterday. Nice. I know. This is really nice. I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. So I, is it Mock Turtle? Mock Turtle. Okay. Yep. And so I got a piece of 40 count Verdal. Ooh, Verdal. Yeah, it's 40 count even weave. Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. And I got 32 count Lugana. In the same color. Mm hmm. Mock yep. turtle. Yep. Love it. Yeah, it so, feels lovely. It looks lovely. Um, 
So I will. Do we have contact information for Wonderland Fabrics? I will see what I can find and I will add it to the box. Okay. How's that sound? Very good. Okay. So a huge thank you to Jamie. Yeah, thanks, and for, Jamie. Um, Vanessa for bringing it into the shop mm -hmm. yesterday. Yeah. Much here. I got it for you. Too. Okay. So you can show your. That's all the mail call I have. What do you got over there, Pammy? Okay. So. Talk to us. Um. I hope you know that Judy Whitman does a floss too. And she does a beautiful job, as you would expect. And one thing she mentioned on maybe not the most recent, because I think she just down uploaded a new she one. She did. But the one just prior, she talked about the fact that one, let's see, I want to talk intelligently. Please she do. has some designs that are called Christmas Village. And they're individual. Mm -hmm. There are four of them. Mm -hmm. And each of the four little booklets has three buildings of the Christmas Village on them. So this is Christmas Village 1. Two. Christmas Village 2. I love this one. 3. Oh, I love the mill. 2. And 4. And so what? 12 total. Yep, 12 buildings. And two. what Judy happened to mention on her floss tube, the next to last one, uh -huh. was that you can get the free PDF of the village layout to put all 12 buildings in a landscape mode mm -hmm. with a line from um, the Christmas Christmas Carol um, winding through it. Where do so, you get this? Her website, okay, okay. jbwdesigns.com, okay. and this is what the village looks like. Isn't that fantastic? I love it. So I, sh I, um, I messaged Judy. I think this is how this went, mm -hmm. and I, oh, she said request it. That's what it was. Oh, okay. email her. Um, okay. and I'm sure her email is in her description box. Or mess the I messaged her because you know. And so I said I would love to get oh, the cool. PDF. Oh, cool. This will tell you what the pad... Can I, can I see this? Because mm -hmm. I wasn't sure what buildings were what. Yeah. To be fair. Right. Um. Oh, cute. Okay, so farmhouse, Victorian house, covered bridge, mm -hmm. country church, colonial home, barn. She talks about this in that video. I want to see what where the, which one's the post office. The chalet, the gingerbread house, the old English post office. Right. Which is yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I really do like being in the shipping department. Okay, continue. Sorry. Yeah, and so anyway, she said, um, <laughs> "This is I'll, I'll email you the the layout, the chart for the um, to village. put it all into a village." Yeah. And it says, "You know, I will keep I will honor Christmas, Christmas and try to keep it in try, my heart all the year, all the year, right from love um, it." Dickens. Sure. And so she said, you know, let, let me know if, you, if you're missing any of the charts. Well, I didn't have any of the charts. <laughs> and so I said, but we can get them, Judy. Don't yeah. worry about it. Just as I'm putting them in the mail to you. Mm -hmm. So these were gift from Judy. And um, on two of the three, two of the four, the layout is on the back. Mm -hmm. Also. But just contact Judy Whitman. Um, she's on the socials. Um, mm -hmm. And um, get the layout. Buy all four charts if you if you need to. But. From your LNS. And what did Thank Judy you. do? Do you drop it, Pam? No. Do you drop it? See, no. I oh, it's it right here. See this little package? Mm -hmm. She packaged up all four car all four charts. All four cars. <laughs> so we're going to give these away. Today. Today. Right now. Right now. Are you paying attention? Well, 
I mean, we'll pick a winner next week, but you know. Yeah, we'll pick a winner next week. Yes. But if you are interested in getting, and I believe that this one has a charm. The, the, no, the ones that they will get do not have charms. Oh, they don't. No. Okay. Okay. No. Uh -uh. But she tells you what charms you can, yes. you can order. And all the information and the yeah. stuff is all and embellishments and all the yeah. things are There's on the back of all of four charms. charms. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So to enter to win the four Christmas Village charts from JBW Designs, you need to comment on this video and use a keyword in a sentence. And what is that keyword, Pam? Let's say... Let's say village. Okay. Village All right. in a sentence. All right. And you get... All four charts. All four charts. Love that. Okay. Village it is. Yeah, it looks like... One, two, three, four, five... There's like little bead packs and stuff, but on the back of every chart, it tells you how to get the embellishments. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, village to get the 12 buildings in Judy's Christmas Village. Absolutely. And I love it. then you can request um, a PDF of the layout and go to town. Yep, absolutely. I think it would be adorable. Yep. I am definitely planning to do it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Here, I'll take it. And that is also a mail call for you, too. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if you're familiar with, this is one of my sets that I'm collecting. Yep. And it is um, from the late 90s, and these were designed by um, Mosey and me. Mm -hmm. And they were designed to be individual characters, both Pilgrim and Native American, from the first Thanksgiving. And one of the ones that, um, the last one in the Pilgrim family mm -hmm. that I was looking for was, Stephanie thinks this is silly. So count on her laughing if she doesn't have her mouth full. Pam! <laughs> Little Prissy Pilgrim, okay? Little Prissy But isn't she adorable? She's cute. And you make them into stand-ups, uh -huh. and they've got all kinds of rainbow gallery threads in them. Look at the list. Mm -hmm. And so I had I bet some of those threads overlap, though, for real. I don't know, but it, it just looks adorable. And there's, again, um, buttons from, uh, it says just my imagination, mm -hmm. but I think probably Jabco has some that are equivalent. That are comparable. Comparable. Um, I don't know. Just my imagination. <laughs> so... That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> so a lovely gal saw that I was looking for this and sent this to me. Mm -hmm. Her name happens to also be Pam. Mm -hmm. And then she also sent this along. It's a fancy that and it's called Folk Art Winter Angel and she thought I would enjoy it as well. It says Snowfall Evergreens, Starry Nights and Christ and it's just darling. I fancy mm -hmm. that. Well, I fancy that. Just darling. So now my set is complete. Yeah. And she's looking. Thank you, Prissy Pilgrim. She's looking for the turkey, which is called Dinner Guest. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. And she said, if I Better ever run Prince across it, so I'm going to reciprocate. Mm -hmm. When I'm done with with um, Dinner Guest, which mm -hmm. is the turkey, I'm going to send it back to um, send it back to Pam. Got it. So we'll be, you know, reciprocating. Uh huh. All right. Will you put that in the pile with the notes, please? Oh, and I need to keep this, too, because this is how I get in touch with her. Okay, then you need to keep that. So don't lose that. You need to put it with the tur with the turkey. Um, yes, I do. Uh -huh. So... Just put it on the table. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, so that's all the mail call. Uh, well, I talked about this okay, last week. On. <laughs> Great. Okay. Is that all the milk call? That is all the milk oh, call. Okay. Thank you. All right. Wow. Wow. That was a rough go. All right. Ooh. So now let's move into the hall. Okay. Go first. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we got our September. Life is just a bowl of cross stitch 
from Pine Needles in Utah. Yep. And this is uh, from designed by Pine Mountain Designs and sent to us by Pine Needles in Utah. And this is very cute and I really like it. <gasps> Look at the bulb. Oh, it's cute. Yep. And do you see, do you see these little, little apples? Do you see them? You get all the stuff to make the apples. Oh, I'm excited. This might be one of my favorite ones yet. I love it so much. Okay. Let me get the full kit. The only thing that you, well, you, to be fair, the thing, the only thing you don't get is the threads. Right. Which I think are DMC. I mean, this, I could stitch this up and... But you couple stitch the ones e you like. Couple of evenings. This is my one that I like. Okay. That's why it's in my pile. Yep. But we have we have a, all of them together, so. Yeah, and we have the bowl. And we and do. We got all the things. Okay. Um, we also got, uh, so I will link Pine Needles below, so if you want to pick that up, you can. Um, we got our Fabric of the Month from Color and Cotton. And this month's color is Mystic Owl. Oh, it's so pretty. It is gorgeous. Whew. So I get a fat quarter in 40 count. It is a lovely, lovely gray. And I get 32 count linen. Uh, linen, yeah. Mystic Owl. Yeah, linen. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Ah, it's very exciting. So, whew, exciting times. Okay. Um, so then... I just thought of something. This oh. might be good for. What? A quality you... sample. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but are you doing it? Oh, yeah, you're doing it all on 32, yeah? Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, and then I got a couple things at Keepsakes. This, um, I had to place an order with this distributor, and, um, I saw this, and I was like, oh, crap. I need that. Um, and it's kind of surprising because I like it and, and Pam likes it, but not enough to put it in her stash. So I'm putting it in mine. So this is from the Calico Confectionery and it's called Halloween Game Board. It's really pretty. Don't change your tune now, Pam. No, I'm not changing my tune, but it is really pretty when you hold it up like that. It just pops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. I think it's cool. Yeah. So from Calico Confectionery. Halloween game board. Then, um, this is in the, you know, I've been like kind of piecemealing together the Christmas village from Mill Hill. Okay. And this is the needlework shop. So cute. And I noticed that in this one, they actually substituted. So there's a snowman right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. They substituted the Mill Hill button with a Jabco button. Did so, they? Yeah. So, so and, we, and were made some, a note. we were kind of wondering how that was going. Yeah. The whole with Mill Hill. switcheroo. Thing. Yeah, with Mill Hill and stuff. So, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Very cute. Very cute. Okay. So, we, in the, the last few weeks when we've been doing silver and gold, we've highlighted a lot of Dutch Foss tubers. Great. Um, but, you know, we always want to check to make sure that we have all the most up-to-date information, that we're not giving you information that is old or whatever. Right. So, in watching some of those floss tubers and seeing their projects and all the things, um, I was inspired to pick up this chart. This is from the Cross Stitcher Magazine, May 2021. Who showed that? Jantina? Jantina? I think so. Yeah, it was Jantina. I think so. Yes. And, um, but how we got this was from a website called Pocket Mags, right? Yes. Pocket Mags. Okay. Pocket Mags. And so I didn't, um, like hunt around the interwebs for you buy the digital, um, version of the whole issue of the magazine. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Where, and then you, but you just printed this off. Right. Okay. Got it. So then we got the PDF of the magazine and then we printed off. Um, I think it was Yantina. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, and so this is designed. Uh, oh, please. 
Was it Mr. Trovia? I think so, but I don't want to speak incorrectly. Well, I'm not sure. It was Emma Conkin. Yes, it is. Yes. Emma yes, from Citrovia, Emma Conkin. So this, it's called The Simple Life, and it says, It is the sweet, simple things of life, which are the real ones after all. Right. And I just think that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I think it was Yantana that did them in, did this in purple. Okay. Like she did like a plum. Oh, no, then it was um, the newer floss tuber. Um, <laughs> you're watching us and you're yelling your name because she had the shirt on that said that she loves purple. Remember? Yep. We'll look it up. Yep. One more time. Um, and yeah, so I love this so much. So got this pattern. So I'll link pocket mags below and then you can go get the whole, get the issue digitally and yeah. Um, I prefer hard copy of, of charts anyway, so um, as opposed to PDF, yeah. And then I got. I'm trying to think of her name, but I can't. Um, then I got my monthly project bag from Como Stitches. Yep. This is my patchwork bag. And I don't know if you're prepared for this, so swallow your drink in your nose, out your mouth. <laughs> Because this is gorgeous. Holy hell. Mm -hmm. Look at all of the berries. The size is just perfect. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's outstanding. Completely square. Yep, which we love. Good and deep. Good and deep, like we love. Big uh, YKK zipper. Yep. And inside with the white with the pink uh, red uh splatter love it yep i mean it's just so good you guys yep. i mean if you're not buying bags from jess at como stitches what are you even doing <laughs> what are you even doing they're, they're just, just so good yeah. and her craftsmanship is a 12 out of 10 so yeah. she posts new bags every week just about so yeah. um follow her on instagram do the things como yeah. stitches c-o-m-o -O. yeah Okay, that is all of my haul, Pamela. Okie dokie. Um, I picked up this full kit. Uh, I don't know whether it was um, D Stash yeah, or Facebook. 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 Um, this was originally a silver needle, a uh, little help from our friend's Stitching Circle kit. What was it? <coughs> Comes with everything. Comes I mean, with the, start it right now, Pammy. The overdot that looks like silks, the charm, the lady dot chenille. It's the fabric, Jeanette. It's obviously silks. And it's Jeanette. Jeanette Douglas Designs, and it's called Potpourri of Stitches. This came out before I joined uh, Circle of Friends, mm -hmm. but these are just dynamite kits. And I think I might have misspoken. Um, uh -oh. Maybe last week I talked about a um, uh, kit that I got off of eBay that was Secret Needle Night. And I might have said that I didn't think they were doing Secret Needle Night mm. kits. Mm -hmm. And they are, in fact, still doing Secret Needle Night kits. And they um, are all the parts that Mona puts together to come up with a finished product. So... Um, I want to correct that, um, but um, there it, are instructions to either, I think, frame this or make it into the little pin cushion thing. Cool. And then um, I picked this up off of D-Stash because it came with the Birds of a Feather fabric. Um, this is called Halloween Fun. And it's a birds of a feather, so out of print. But it came with the birds of a feather black crow linen. Which I've literally never seen that before, so that's incredible. So that made the price something you could not pass up. No, ma'am. The words say, on Halloween, the thing you must do is pretend that nothing can frighten you. And if something scares you and you want to run, just let on like it's Halloween fun. <laughs> just, just 
Just adorable. And of course, so cute. The cat. So I picked that up. Yep. Love it. And I picked up a couple of prairie moons. One is a classic prairie moon that I've never had before. It's called Dinah's The Trick and the Treat. So if you follow Prairie Moon Stitchers, probably they've stitched this one. And this one is a Prairie Moon that I've never seen. Yeah. And early 2000s, and it's called Christmas Shop. And it's just, oh, I didn't know that was the name of it. It's just darling. But from Prairie Moon, who's all about Halloween all the time, usually. Hey, I got, I got a couple Christmas things from them. So, um, Very cute. I also wanted to um, tell you again about the Stitch Along from Stitching Book Club. A lot of you commented and didn't know anything about it. Oh. And I kind of, and I kind of um, gummed up the works by not speaking <laughs> clearly about Stitching Book Club. But it is um, the brainchild and the invention and the designs of... Kristen Ashley from Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts, mm -hmm. and I got the fabric and the threads. Didn't I show this last week? Mm -hmm. The fabric and Two the weeks through, I think. threads. Um, then she sent the instructions for the bookmark by email. It says, I don't know what lies around the bend, but I'm going to believe that the best does. So that's very pretty. Kind of gives you an idea of the color palette for the big stitch along. And we got part one yesterday, I believe. Mm. And it is mm. so pretty. So it's going to look somewhat like Gorgeous. that. Yeah, I might put a few stitches in tonight. Oh, it's man. so pretty. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get the parts by email. Hmm. And it will finish approximately eight and a half by 11 and a half. So it's not going to be overwhelmingly large. And she does um, hand dye the fabric mm -hmm. that I believe I showed you. And she gave us two strips to do a couple of bookmarks, I think. So and then they have, like, you could technically read the book along while you're Yeah, talking. they kind of encourage that. I've read Anna Green Gables a million times. So. Right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot I did that. I was looking to see if to find that floss tuber. Which floss tuber? That we couldn't think of with the chart. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's gosh. fine. I could do, you know how you do A, B, C, D, E, but, you know, we'd be here all night. Right. Um, so that is all um, the things that I bought. Yep. So that's all the haul. Yeah. Add to cart. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to uh, reveal who won last week's giveaway. We and are. those were the new charts from The Proper Stitcher. Yes, from Annie at The Proper Stitcher. So right. um, we will insert the video of me picking a winner of last week's giveaway here. Hello and welcome to this week's portion of the show that we give something away. So today we are giving away um, the four new charts from Annie at the Proper Stitcher. Yay. And so we uh, ask you to use the word imagine in your comment to be entered to win. So we use the YouTube random comment picker website here. So, hi. So, um, that is the URL for the video. And then keyword filter. Imagine. Make sure I spelled that right. Yep, sure did. Okay. And let's see. All right. 128 comments um, use the word imagine in their comment. So, let's pick a winner. Desiree Feister. You scared me to death. Uh-oh. 
how could you do that to me? You never said why you were down to one car. I kept expecting some terrible story about an ex or something. Good grief. You both looked okay, so I tried to slow my heavy chest to assume the best. I promise we're both fine. It was easy to imagine the worst when you started your philosophy that way. Don't do that to a mom again. I'm so sorry, Desiree. We're sorry. Other than that, it was a great time with you. But gosh, for a moment there, you really had me going. <laughs> Well, I'm so sorry to scare you, Desiree. I promise we're both fine. There was no accident. We're just down in one car. So, um, congratulations. You have won the bundle. And so there is uh, Pam's email. Cat. Pam's email address is in the description box of our video here. So, send Pam an email with your mailing address, Desiree, and we will get your bundle of charts sent right out to you. Yay! So, um, thank you all so much for all of your comments. We love you all so much. And I'll take send you back to regularly scheduled programming now. Bye! Alright, so again, congratulations to Desiree. Mm -hmm. I won't repeat myself what I said in the video, but thank you all so much for all of your wonderful comments. You guys are the best. Yep. Um, and um, you know the instructions for this week's giveaway from when we talked about them earlier. Right. So, village. Remember Village? Yes, Remember Village. Okay, so um, we'll look to uh, hear from Desiree and yes. get those out. Yes. Um, and um, make sure that you, uh, if you're interested in Judy's charts, make sure you enter for Please. the current giveaway. Yes. Um, and probably giveaways will kind of take a break too after next week. Yeah. With everything else going on. Yep. Um, so we got a very generous donation from our friend Jana. Hi, Jana, and Hi, thank Jana. you. Thank for you. taking part in the buy me a coffee and Kofi link that is in the description box yeah. below totally voluntary mm -hmm. helps with our framing finishing and postage expenses yep and let's see plans are what do we have for plans we're not going in anywhere uh, you've got orders coming in on the web shop yep but nope nothing this week so um the New York Marketplace is in two weeks. Two weeks. So yep. that's exciting. Yep. Yep. Um, but other than that, no, we're good. Okay. Yep. So a peaceful week um, for us. I don't know about peaceful, but. Well. Um, the men tell all is tomorrow night, so that's very exciting. And uh, Trevor Story's doing really well. He had four hits today, so, you know. You know, you know where our priorities are, right? You know. So my stack is gone, and that's because it's just literally just on my chair. Steph's stack has been discussed, so um, we're pretty so much. That means it's time for dinner. It's time for dinner, yeah. and it's time for us to um, say see you next week. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, it's thrilling. It's really exciting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it hasn't rained today. That's a change. Uh, it's still when we warm. start talking about the weather, it's time still to go. Still warm. So, anyway. Um, have a great week, everyone. Have a great week. Um, you know, remember that um, even if things aren't, um, you know, the best in your corner of the world, um, we're glad you took a break yeah. and, and spent an hour or so with us. Please. Um, find a comfy chair, take a deep breath, and enjoy your stitching. Yeah. We'll see you next week. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.